of knowledge awaits. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you? Therese. <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long-forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Correct you are, Your Highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters 3 and 4 before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Hello? Splendid! Highness. The 
truth of the matter is. But of course. Mm hmm. Pleasure. Why, thank you. Indeed. It's me, Cyrus. <laughs> mm hmm. I see. With pleasure. Many thanks. What have we here?
an interesting dilemma. Professor Albright! Ah! <sighs> The truth is... I see. Many thanks. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone! But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. Master sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone, something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait, there was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Excuse me. What's the matter? Hmm. Uh, um. Can I help? A moment of your time. 
My apologies. Say it is not so. Actually... A ho! Indeed! I see. Leave it to me. Take care. Time to do some research. <laughs>